from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. My name is Anthony and I am in downtown Pittsburgh. I am on my way to an LCS I've never been to. And what with this guy over here? Who always gets really fire cards and grades them and makes tons of money. So we're hoping to go do that right now, guys. So hang tight and we will check in when we get to that LCS. The city of steel. Sports world specialties. That's sick. We're gonna go to San Martina. Awesome. Boxing gloves up there. Alright guys, so as you're about to see, this place is absolutely sick. There's just a little bit of something from like every generation of Pittsburgh history in this place. I mean, you got some Mario Lemieux going down over here. It reminds me of a poster I used to have on my wall as a kid. You got a little Kobe and Shaq. Come on now, who didn't who didn't love that Lakers team with Kobe and Shaq? One of my favorite non-Cleveland Cavalier teams of all time. Big Ben autograph. Look at these sticks, helmets, balls. And this place has some of the sickest memorabilia in Pittsburgh, bar none. Now, there's definitely some places in. Cleveland and like in the surrounding areas in Ohio that definitely would rival this but This is one of the better places for memorabilia in Pittsburgh Now there's some other places that have some pretty good stuff. But I really like the stuff they had here Especially this next piece Sick. Marty did you see this dude? Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair? Dole Auto? I think it's so sick that's like the equivalent of like Jordan and LeBron on one thing. That's nasty. It's awesome. So you know being a former professional wrestler, I came super, super close to picking up that dual auto of Hogan and Flair. I mean, that thing is just absolutely nasty. But there's so much dope stuff at this shop, guys. Like that is just like the tip of the iceberg. But as you're going to see, there's tons of cards, like memorabilia for days, just all kinds of stuff, guys. They had a very nice selection of supplies and stuff like that, which is definitely dope because supplies are hard to find nowadays. And the nice thing is they don't mark up their supply prices either. I do think I will start buying more memorabilia moving forward because why not? It's just so cool. Huh? This hurts my heart. Card sleeve without penny sleeve. Oh man. Me. When you put a card in there without a penny sleeve, you can damage the corners and even lift up part of the wax off of a card. I swear I got the baseball card. Oh yeah? Nice. Always like to look through everything just to see if there's anything nostalgic I might want in there. There's a lot of OG stuff in there. I actually kind of like these autographs that are like Beckett certified that are like on postcards or whatnot. Those are kind of cool. I have a couple of those of random stealers. Oh, they got a graded boxing card over there. Oh, they got some Kobe rookies. Yeah, I want that right there at nine. That is sick. It's Kobe Bryant's tops rookie that I'm drooling over right here, but there were several other Kobe Bryant rookie cards in a nine there as well. And Kobe's one of my favorite players of all time. Barton. So this is easily my favorite case in the entire store. Just heat for days, autograph, key rookies, a little bit of everything. I have several of those score Yagers at PSA right now. Hoping I get some good grades there. Loki really liked that autograph piece of wood there too, that hardwood. That's pretty sick. I got a Cavs piece of that from Terrell Brandon. Oh, look, there's that uh, curry that you have. Yep. So you may remember from one of our Ohio LCS hunting videos, that Steph Curry upper deck first edition draft rookie there. Uh, Marty picked that up at one of the LCSs, and we're currently waiting to get that sent into PSA as soon as they reopen anything besides Super Express. 
but there was some great stuff there. Shout out to Hip Flip and Mama. There's a graded boxing card right there. I know she would have loved that thing. I bought that LeBron uh, SP7 RV, the baseball one. It's a LeBron rookie with him throwing out the first pitch for the Indians. Super sick. Hard to anybody with a mask. Hey, I get yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. I don't think anyone can aid on that. I'd imagine this guy probably sees so many people on a weekly basis, it'd probably be hard for him to remember even without the masks at this point. But yeah, I mean, with the masks, that would be even tougher to really build a real connection with your customers and stuff if you can't even technically fully remember somebody without seeing their entire face. It's like you're basically doing business with uh, Wilson, the neighbor from Home Improvement. Yeah, I'd be so curious to find out like what those cards we had as kids were like. Raw 80s and 90s stuff would be like rated today. Mm -hmm. Always wondered that. I had so many off-centered cards. I know a lot of my stuff was like OC as heck. Yeah. It's like so no one even cared about that back then. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there were so many minor condition issues we would let slide before we were grading cards. It's crazy. Oh dang, he got some Clementes. You know your boy's fan to stop and look at some Roberto. How much were you asking on the Clemente? The uh, SGC 5? The 5 I think is uh, 7500 ish Okay, how about the 3? The PSA one? The 3 is like 5 grand, I want to say 4500. Okay. 4500 Cool. Yeah, that's, that's like one of my grail cards I'm working up to, is Clemente. All right, so now that we looked around and saw what they had to offer high end, this is where you guys can make a lot of money is in these bargain bins. If you'll take the time to dig through here and look for players that are undervalued and look for stuff that's gradable, you can make tons of money. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along with us to that LCS. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd want to visit that LCS, they are located in downtown Pittsburgh, right off of Smithfield Street. One more thing, guys, I just want to announce is on Monday night, April the 19th, we're going to be having a special guest on Sports Card Talk, which is the live Q&A show I do with Nate every day I'm hustling. We're going to be interviewing Dustin, the personal finance dad. It's going to be amazing. If you guys have seen his channel, then you already know that he's very knowledgeable when it comes to the hobby and the sports card market. And if you haven't seen his channel, then you're in for a treat. You're getting ready to meet another YouTuber that you're probably going to want to watch a good bit. So mark your calendars, guys. It's going to be awesome. And again, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Until the next one, may God bless you and I hope you take it easy.